Emmanuel To, KTN News, Nairobi. Now, as the economic impact of COVID-19 continues to bite, hotel owners are now giving their workers allowances as opposed to salaries. Quite a number of hotels in the country have also issued redundancy notices. Here now is Brenda Kirubo on the state of employment in the hotel sector. Business was booming at the start of the year for Sarova Panafric, but the coronavirus put a break on the rosy performance. Today, the hotel is at 15% occupancy, and the guests allowed to eat inside the restaurant have to at least 73. Sarova Hotels, Resorts and Game Lodges Managing Director Jimmy Karioki says it's tough. It's been a very tough time for the industry. You know, our priority has continued to be to protect jobs, uh, to protect wages. Uh, we've been able to achieve this uh, for the first uh, couple of months. Uh, but it's getting tougher and tougher because you have zero inflows, zero revenue inflows, but your outflows, especially around payroll, are still there. Since March, most of the staff are at home on reduced wages. Our industry, as you know, is very uh, labor intensive. You know, you cannot work uh, from home. A waiter cannot work from home. A receptionist cannot work from home. A pool attendant cannot work from home. So many of our staff are, are at home. But uh, I, I would, I'm happy to say that, you know, we have so far not laid any staff off. Though Sarova has not issued any redundancy notice, 25 other hotels have already done so. They include Kempinski and Sankara. They simply cannot afford it because uh, what has happened is that a good number of properties have been borrowing uh, to sustain staff. So they, they are going deeper and deeper into debt and again uh, with loans, uh, the main thing is your ability to repay. So if you went to a bank today and asked for a loan and, uh, and they asked you, okay, how, how will you repay? Show us your business forecasts. Uh, our business forecasts are showing nothing uh, because we are, we are in a lockdown. In March, hotel owners sent their staff on unpaid leave for two months and cut their salaries by 50%, but that is set to be reviewed downwards. What happens is that now, instead of the 50%, now we are recommending that people take full and paid leave, and the only thing that uh, they would be getting from their employer is some sort of uh, allowance to keep them going. So we are reducing the 50% into an allowance for the next uh, two or three months, and we know that if uh, the situation doesn't change, then we will have to go now to the inevitable, which is redundancies. Players now want restrictions put in place to contain the disease removed. So what we want from the government is not really a bailout, is simply a roadmap. Tell us when we are going to reopen. Tell us when we expect the airports uh, to pick up. On the domestic front, uh, Nairobi and Mombasa hold probably about 55 to 60 percent of the GDP. So if you lock that down, then there is no movement. Uh, you can't see people going to Naivasha, uh, Kisumu, which, uh, and the western side, which depends a lot on Nairobi. We are looking for uh, more aggressive monetary and fiscal me measures from the government and also easing on uh, lockdown measures so that we can actually start getting some traffic to our other properties uh, and start generating revenue so that we can pay some wages. <laughs>